Hello everyone, it's the time again for another studio tour. I've been receiving a lot of comments lately asking if I'm going to do another one of these because my studio's changed a lot again. I think I tend to do these like almost every year. I didn't realize you guys like these videos so much, but uh, a lot of you seem to. So the past year my studio has changed quite a lot. A lot of things have been happening. There goes Toby doing his thing. Yes, I know my studio is very cluttered, but I don't like things to be plain and boring. Anyways, let's start over here. So a lot of you might not know this, but I've been getting very much into fish keeping um, in the past year, as well as amphibians, but we'll get to that later. I post a lot about it on my Instagram, um, mainly on my second Instagram, which is sort of extras. I don't know how many of my fans are also into this kind of stuff, but I'll show you guys anyway. This tank I actually got recently. I used to have a smaller tank with just some minnows in it. I got this tank second hand. That's why the light's not working and why I have a light there. So in here there's some guppies, there's some resboras, um, minnows, albino corridors. Originally I had a tank about this size with just some minnows in it. Oh, and there goes the plant. <laughs> kind of recently got this bigger tank taken hand which came with the guppies and the resboras and they weren't taken care of very well. There's some guppy fry in here too. Also got a snail back there and the reason why I had this container here is because my snail actually laid some eggs. Um, I don't think they are fertilized. Only time will tell but uh, mystery snails are very weird snails so, so I don't know yet but um, yeah these are my fish. They are very excited right now because they think I'm gonna feed them. But it's not feeding time yet. Actually, I do need to feed the corridors. This is what happens when we give them algae wafers. Everyone likes it. It's it's just meant to be for the corridors, but all of my fish are obsessed with them. I've got a plant over here. I have some food here. This isn't the only food I feed them. I feed them a big variety of different kind of food, like blood worms as well, and brine shrimp and stuff like that. Over here is where I have my beta fish, or Siamese fighting fish, Haru. I've had him for a few months. He's very picky. He will mostly only eat these pellets and blood worms. He won't eat anything else. He seems to hate brown shrimp. All right, so I'm pretty sure most of you are more interested in anime figures. So let's go over here. If you've seen last year's studio tour, you may notice that I have a lot more figures now because I went to Japan at the start of this year and I miss it so much. <laughs> but I got heaps of figures in Japan. Um, most of these figures uh, from Japan. I have all the Magical Girl versions of Madoka Magica Figmas and I also have the school version of Madoka and uh, I forgot her name. She's my favorite character and I forgot her name. I'm sorry. And then uh, I have these ones down here. I have almost all of the K-On collection. I just need Azusa. Actually this one's not even a Figma. Let's pretend that it is, alright? And then my small Nendroid collection. I do like Nendroids as well. I like Figmas a lot more, but Nendroids are very cute. Down here, I have uh, a bunch of my Nintendo plushies. I'm a big Nintendo fan. Nintendo games are probably the only games I actually play now. Apart from now and then, I still play Overwatch. Um, I have all of these really cool Love Live staircase figures. I'm only missing Maki. That's why there's one spot there with no one in the so I hope to find it Armageddon this weekend. Down here I have just some more plushies and stuff like that. I got Winston. I got my Scruffaloves that I did videos on. I really like Scruffaloves. They're really cute. My Beanie Baby Turtle. Um, a little gremlin here. This is actually really cool. This is actually a very expensive. He's got a hole in his back so he's supposed to be um, a puppet I guess but I don't know. It doesn't really work. I got this little Shiba thing. I won this in Japan. It used to have a button here when you press it it would like vibrate like crazy and Toby absolutely loved it but uh, Toby also ripped it up so much that it doesn't work anymore. Um, This pig plushie, I absolutely love this. I got it from a thrift store and I just think it's so cute. It has a little like jersey thing on and I just, I just love it. It's so adorable. Look at it. I have a rubbish bin over here and behind that, oh there's a mute. This is some Critters Crumble. I use this for my frog tanks. There's a tin with Toby's uh, biscuits in there and some water. Just relaxing in the sun. All right, so this is my desk. In my last room tour, I had my <laughs> shitty like $20 desk. So I got this really cool desk last year and I absolutely love it. I have so much room now. I used to not have like any room on my desk. It was literally like, like, this size, you know, like that. So over here I have um, a spiral figure my friend got me. I had this tin. Um, I got this from the Pokemon Center in Japan. And inside it, I still have some of these biscuits. I think they're supposed to be sakura flavored. They are really good, but I don't want to eat them all because they also look really cute. Got a cup here. 
with a pom pom pudding inside of it. This is a picture of Bella, my old dog. I also have like these little figures. This one looks like Bella and this one looks like Toby. So they kind of sit there. I have a diva pop figure over there. Little Aku Aku. I got some Kaon made figures here. Mainly because I don't have any more space on my figure shelves, but they look really cute here. $50 keyboard I got from Gearbest that I absolutely love. This is my beautiful drawing tablet. It's a Huion something. Um, I did a whole video on this and I absolutely love it. I still use it all the time, every day actually. Highly recommend. So much better than Wacom. In my experience anyway. Sorry. I have my microphone over here. I have this like soggy mouse pad that's quite dirty. I just use it for putting drinks on. I have this very small terrarium here. I just got this yesterday from a thrift store for really cheap. So there's nothing in it at the moment. I still need to actually like set it up better with put some plants in there and stuff like that. But I do plan on getting some small uh, brown tree frogs to put in here, which are a very small breed of frogs in New Zealand. Oh, this is... um actually a puzzle of Toby that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. You open it up, it's got pu puzzle pieces in here. It's so cute! On top of this monitor I have some like figures and stuff like that. I got some ponies, I got this Toby. I got some Umaru and Pom Pom put in. Over here I have some cute Mikus on either side as well as some more Umaru figures and this cute little otter that I got at Sunshine City Aquarium in Japan. As you can see I have a lot of anime posters. These two have been here pretty much since I got my studio. This Zombie Land Saga one is actually a folder that I got in Japan but I use it as a poster. Same with like a lot of these like that one and a few over there. Oh there's some Star Wars ships over here too. Pretty cool. And there's a Pokemon. Um this is where I have the rest of my anime figures as well as all my Pokemon plushies and stuff like that. I really like collecting stuff. Don't know if you can tell. Um, we also have a Splatoon squid here and I have all of these really cool framed like paintings, digital paintings of Pokemon. My boyfriend got me all of this from an artist um, for my birthday. And I have some like folders here of different animes that I got in Japan. And a lot of these figures I also got in Japan as well. I got the two Ninja dolls which is super cute. I don't really need to go through all of these but you can see them all. There is a lot. Um, I need to get more space because I currently have figures on top of figures over here. Um, I'm pretty sure it was either this Miku or this Levi that was my first figure ever. I'm not completely sure which one. I think it might be Miku, but I don't 100% know. We have <laughs> Supreme Kermit over here looking pretty lit. I got this card capture sucker bag. I don't really use, but it's cute. This is my blue Pokemon shelf as well as Sonic uh, and Rainbow Dash. This is mostly yellow Pokemon. A lot of the stuff I also got from Pokemon Centers. Like this little um, Tokyo Skytree Pikachu and this cute little Ponyta. Got a lot of Eevee evolutions in here. I'm just missing Glaceon, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I haven't got Glaceon yet. It's just probably my least favorite evolution, so I haven't bothered getting it. Um, down here, we have some more cute little things. I love this one. It's got like little candy in it. This is like a Valentine's Day special. There's a Mimikyu back there. And uh, this Vaporeon and this Leafeon are from the Soda series. Flight Captain Pikachu, and um, this is a like soda EV notebook that I don't use. Um, we have a bunch of the uh, Pokemon Sun evolutions here, as well as a Jigglypuff that I honestly forgot I even had. Got Sleeping Bulbasaur and Charmander here, which is super cute, and all of these little um, cute EV things that look like soda cans. They've got candy inside them. Candy is actually pretty good. I've actually been eating some of it. This is kind of messy, sorry, but it's kind of hard to keep it all tidy all the time. But this is like all my Pokemon figures that I have, as well as some Amiibos in the back. Yeah, they're pretty cute. I absolutely love the little soda series that they had at the time. I don't know if it's still going, but it's so cute. Down here, I just have some other plushies. Um, Halloween and Christmas Pikachu, got a big Eevee, got a Ditto, some Pokemon lollipops, and some Pikachu chocolate that I don't eat because it doesn't taste very good. This shelf just has a bunch of stuff that I don't know where to put because it's a good time a claw machine, a bunch of very small stuff, and a lot of this I also got in Japan. There's a Love Life water bottle and a Banyanya water bottle. Oh, there's a Gremlin there too. And over here, this is... Um, Toby's bed. I have all these plushies here. I won this giant Kirby and a claw machine in Japan. I only paid a dollar and I won it first go. And I got this good tone from Japan. The little Tails plush and a big Knuckles plush. Rilakkuma, Yoshi pillow. Ta -da -da. 
and under my desk is uh, my PC, a Dragon Tail, Overwatch art book, um, a seat storage thing with just like Toby clothes inside of it. This little dog um, pillow is also Toby's bed. He likes it more than he likes that one. Um, I got this from Japan. It's so cute. It actually is a dog bed too. It's amazing. Over here I have my YouTube subscriber plaque. Um, I finally put this up like this year. There's a diva gun over here. Some plushies. Here's a little snow globe except it's not a globe, it's a square. This is when I took Toby to see Santa for like a Santa pet day thing they had. Here's where my Miku sits. Usually sits actually on my desk, but um, this is my very expensive Dolphy Dream Miku doll that I absolutely love. I post a lot of pictures of her on my Instagram, yum underscore soda. Purchase was very worth it. Um, this is a heater. This is my guitar. And on my windowsill, I've got this little Pikachu thing that tilts his head in the sun. I got this from a uh, Japanese claw machine as well. I got these two really cute Rilakkuma blind bag things that I wish I got more of because they're so freaking cute. But they were quite expensive, like $10 each. There's a frog. There's a pink castle. Over here is all my clothes drawers. I got this set of drawers um, this year as well because I used to have a really small one but now I have a big one because I have quite a lot of clothes. Um, so this is my frog tank. I'm just going to close the curtain so you can actually see it better. There you go. This is my frog enclosure. These are uh, southern bell frogs which are a New Zealand type of frog so I don't know if anyone will know about them. I have three of them in here. Here's one. There's another one chilling up here and then oh there's another one hiding this one's the smallest one that's still quite shy but i love them so much frogs are my favorite animal i used to have pet frogs as a kid so i'm really happy to have some again over here is some of the food i give them these are um wax moss larvae which is just kind of a treat because they're really fatty. Um, same with mealworms are also a treat. I don't know if there's much in here anymore, but they're probably somewhere. I have two like feeder dishes. One of them came with that little terrarium that I got yesterday. On this side, I have some little plushies and um, this beautiful isopod <laughs> thingy majiggy. It's super cute. Um, spray bottle so I can spray the tank down, make it nice and moist. That container is in there because uh, there's flies in there, which I'm pretty sure most of them have been eaten. Um, so yeah, these are all clothes, so you don't really need to see that, but in this drawer, wait, this drawer, this is full of uh, other stuff. These are all my figma parts, so I don't lose anything. Everything's all organized by character. Um, these are my Nendroid figure parts. Um, and here is just some random stuff, a lot of Instax film. This is the light bulb that I use for my fish tank. It's a UVB bulb. There's some dog treats and this gun. Um, I actually customized it to be cute and sparkly. Um, I don't know what I'll ever use it for, I just think it looks really cute. <laughs> uh, most of the stuff in here is like fish stuff, so all of this is stuff I use for my fish tanks. Prime is the best. Um, also some more food in here. All that good stuff, you know how it be. Um, filter media here. Um, this is a little container that's just full of, there's like an air pump and stuff like that, extra stuff for fish tanks if I need it. And this is a little breeder box, um, siphon and all that kind of stuff you need. Here's my mirror. Um, it's got heaps of cute stickers on it and it's got this little bunny hat. I got this in uh, Harajuku in Japan. Um, in this little corner, I have this One Punch Man poster. I have some cute little things up here. This is my eater bag, which I absolutely love. I also got this in Japan. I got both of these um, in Japan, Takashita Street and Harajuku. I absolutely love this um, eater bag. I literally bring it everywhere I go. Um, also, I love this uh, Pokemon shirt. It's kind of dirty, but since it's white, it gets dirty very easily and also wrinkles very easily, which is not so great, but I love it too much. This has some Pokemon on the sleeves. It's an official Pokemon hoodie. And I have these two tubs here, which are both full of insect food I feed to my frogs. If you don't like insects, you may not like this. So these are my isopods, or slaters, or pill bugs, or roly polies, whatever you want to call them. He's having a good munch of that carrot. Most of them are usually under here. Here they are. These are very good for frogs because they have heaps of calcium in them. I, they're also so cute, so I feel really bad feeding them to my frogs. Look at them all. They're so cute. I'm very glad I don't have a fear of insects like a lot of people do. Because that wouldn't be very good for animal keeping. In this one, there are some crickets, but there are 
not very many of them at the moment. There's mostly just babies in here. Oh, there's a few big ones. Yeah, mostly very tiny ones though. But I will be getting more soon. Yeah, not a lot in here. Then we have an upstairs. But there is some stuff on here. There's a lot of um, uh, Generation 3 ponies up here. And upstairs... We got some new pictures here. I love all these Eevee pictures. I got these all from the Pokemon Center for free for like spending a lot of money. They're so cute. I have some Breath of the Wild uh, pictures and Kingdom Hearts folder. I have a lot of my plushies in here because I absolutely love plushies. I don't have a lot of room for a lot of them so they all kind of hang out up here. This is my bed. I got a new mattress and it's very comfortable. <laughs> this is my TV I've had for a long time. There's all my plushies. I have all my anime plushies up here. And all these ones are kind of just in a pile. I have some of these Love Live folders. I have the Spyro poster. I have this really cute Dante from Coco. I love it. I've got some movies here that I don't really watch most of them. This is Toby's first ever plushie. I've got my Nintendo Switch stuff. And a lot of the stuff down here is just art stuff. So it's really messy. I think it's impossible to keep art stuff look tidy. I got all my games here. I got mostly PlayStation 2 games here. I got these two cool little Crash Bandicoot figures. This is my pop figure collection that I don't collect anymore because I kind of realized they all look ugly. <laughs> they all have pop figures behind them as well. So there's quite a few. Um, I got these cute little Miraculous Ladybug plushies here of Cat Noir and Ladybug. Got some Simpsons here that I used to collect. Some books that I don't read at all. Actually, I don't even know why I have like any of these YouTuber books because I don't even watch them or read them, apart from PewDiePie. Here's just some stuff here. I got my 3DS. I got an, a sprocket here, which is pretty cool. You can print pictures from your phone. And just art stuff. My iPad's here, which I use for sketching a lot over here. Uh, I have some like cute Eevee stationery, which is pretty cute. I got this little um, soda Pikachu thing. This is full of a lot of washi tape. Um, here's my GameCube controller I use for playing Smash. I got quite a big Light Fury plushie and a small Toothless plushie. There are two poster. Bunch of plushies around here as well. I, <laughs> I have my Levi body pillow and behind it is my Zero Two body pillow. Yes, I actually use them as pillows. They're actually really comfortable. I recommend. I have heaps of pictures and stuff like that over here. This is from May Dreaming in Japan. There's another May Dreaming one over here. <laughs> I really like having this here. It's just cool to look at all the things I've done and look at all the pictures of Japan that make me miss it even more. Here's the Kana pillow and more plushies over here. That is pretty much upstairs. And here's a frog. So yeah, that's my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, as usual, not trying to brag or anything like that. Um, I paid for everything with my own money. I've been collecting all this stuff for years and years. It takes a long time to get this much of a collection. I get many people wanting to see what my studio looks like now, so that's why I'm doing this video. And also maybe can help people who need inspiration to decorate their room and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!